The internet is a very open and dangerous place for spreading information and communicating. I am covering cyber safety for people of all ages today. The first topic is having your name on people's search sites. It is difficult to get your name off sites like this whenever it is needed. According to Consumer Reports, they looked into this topic and had a woman who needed her name off people's search sites because she was being stalked by somebody. And whenever the author tried to get his name off these sites, he had a trouble he had trouble doing this. So overall it's very dangerous to have your name on these sites and it can cause problems in the future, but you have to go to extreme lengths to get these off to get your name off these websites. The second topic I'm covering is school safety when it comes to using the internet. According to the Internet Digest, schools have are now beginning to hire network administrators. And what these people do is they find fil they find filters for their school and it blocks out dangerous websites. My school had this for many websites, including Facebook. It's usually many websites that are for blogging and things of that nature because those could potentially lead to cyberbullying. So on, in this article, they talk about network administrators being hired and using new filters to block out certain websites. And these, it has been a problem with some schools with certain websites that they need that it blocks out without their knowledge. But overall, it has been a good feature for these schools. Um, the third topic I'm covering is cyberbullying on the internet. This is a very prominent thing whenever you're on the internet, especially on social media websites, and those are usually blocked out in schools and workplaces. But when you're at home, you have free reign to these, and it could lead to communications with people you don't want to be in contact with and cause many dangers that you wouldn't face outside of using the internet. Kirkus Reviews speaks on the dangers of cyberbullying for people on the internet. And there are many reasons that people cyberbully behind the screen. This could be a comfort thing. There's clearly cyber there's clearly bullying in in real life, in schools, even in the workplace. But it's much easier for people on the internet and people of all ages do cyberbully. I can see it myself on the internet, and everybody can. It's very out there and prominent. It is a comfort thing to be behind the screen and be able to say what you want, and it does harm people. So this is a very dangerous aspect of the internet, especially for children who are very vulnerable to bullying, and it it is a big reason for problems like depression in children and the suicide rates, bullying does have a big impact in that. The fourth topic I'm covering is going to be the restrictions of blogs on school grounds and how it's helped cyberbullying and cyber safety for children. Many children can find themselves in dangerous situations with talking to people on the internet, especially when they don't know who they're talking to when it comes to screen names and people hiding behind screen names to talk to children. So it's very important that under school grounds, they have restrictions to certain websites, especially blogs and social media. The British Journal of Administration Management looked into this topic and they claim that the restriction of blogs on school grounds has helped cyber safety for children. And this can be very true, especially with blocking Facebook because some, pe some kids could go to school and get on Facebook and communicate with people and it can just be a very dangerous thing, especially under a school ground and they could give out the address of the school or certain things. In conclusion, the internet is not a safe place for people of certain ages, especially kids. So 
it is important that they have restrictions like this and they are continuing to find ways to block out websites and hire people to help with cyberbullying and things of that sort on the internet. So many people were finding ways to create the restrictions and increase online safety and hopefully it continues to grow in the next couple years and that is all. Thank you.